Ready. For Rohan, he says. This is the quarterfinals and it is a best out of three. It is a TVT, ladies and gentlemen. Both players are master level players and I hope you are exci as excited I as I am. Oh my goodness, why do I keep pausing? I do not know. Ugh. But this uh, will be on Antigua Shipyard. I'm going to go ahead and get the production and the players up there. Spawning in the top right hand corner, I almost said left, that is... Ugh. <laughs> is uh, spawning in the green bunkers, Aki, Aki, Aki. If that's how you say it, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> oh my goodness! Just shut up, Dracoraf, and carry on. Okay, spawning in the t bottom left can left hand corner, and another pause. Oh my goodness! Spawning in the blue bunkers, we do have CT Kakos. I know a lot of people in the stream are rooting for Kakos, as I, in fact, uh, as far as I'm aware. One person has mentioned he is one of their teachers, so he is a coach as well as, as a teacher. I guess they're one of the same. What to expect in, uh, from him? I'm not quite sure. Maybe it is a TVT matchup, as I mentioned before, ladies and gentlemen. It could be a Reaper kind of opening, maybe a early expansion opening, maybe early pressure. I don't know. <laughs> Everyone's rooting for Kakos in the chat room. Oh dear. Oh, you, I mean Aki, 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 President Aki will win. Ooh, God. There's a, uh, from both sides of uh, people arguing in the chat room. For both players, in fact. Very nice timing for uh, Barracks going down for both players. Already, we, we will be getting the scouts from Kakos. Uh, no scouts from Aki, 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 <laughs> as of yet. This is Antigua Shipyard, so to expect what to expect in TVT on this map, I think it will be. Uh, the key to actually winning this will be getting that map control. Because during it, uh, TVT is all about getting those engagements and flanks as well as drops. It will be all about positioning and uh, scanning, flanking, reading your opponent's moves. It is This is StarCraft, ladies and gentlemen. And we will be seeing Aki already going to go ahead and go that go for that command center. But in the meantime, we do see Orbital Commander is already completing for Kakos. Not going for that fast expansion as of yet. Already got that gas though, so he may be going for a tech lab after this marine. Maybe, maybe we might see a fast factory or even a tech lab. Looks like Akos already got that scout of the command center as far as I'm aware. I think I missed that. No, yep, he has seen the command center and the barracks as of yet as well of the orbital command. Very, very nice scout on his part. Already we do see the second barracks already going down for Aki. Maybe two, uh, two racks pressure while he macros up in those uh, in that those SCVs as well of a factory maybe coming down as soon as possible. Already a double gas going down for Aki. Uh, only one gas still going down for Kakos. Already going to go ahead and get, go ahead and get that. Uh, not so early, but a fairly late command center for an early expansion build. Not uh, both players aren't going to go, uh, going to go ahead for that bunker, but very very late scout for Aki. Very very weird of him to get that late scout. In fact, it is cross spawns. Both players are aware of this. And it looks like these two marines will not be able to get snipe that. Oh my goodness! Very, very unfortunate to see from Kakos this part. And in fact, this is, um, actually he does see everything. He sees the react. He does see the factory, and he knows that Kakos is going to go for somewhat of a fast starport or maybe a tank pressure. No, not even pressure. It looks like he will be going for straight for Hellions. Very, very nice to see. Already changing the meta game, uh, the meta in this matchup. Uh, Kakos has already got the command center completed, and com uh, orbital command is morphing as of now. But in the meantime, Aki has already got that orbital command, and already uh, uh, mules already. Uh, duh, 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 duh. What is the word? Oh my god! Salvaging, salvaging those minerals. Yes, you are. Already a bunker going down for the Aki, ready to deny any sort of pressure. But it looks like this uh, this Hellion will be able to, in fact, get the map control. Very, very nice to see from uh, Kakos' part, and he is feeling very safe to macro up as of now. Looks like he's going to go ahead and get that very, very fast medevac, and 
very nice scan from Aki to get that scan on that starport, and he does see a medevac is in production as well with with more Hellions. So in fact, he may be going for very very nice positioning from Aki's uh, Marines, and in fact, he's going to go in and build it the next factory. Double marine production, but it looks like he is supply blocked. Oh my goodness. Very, very unfortunate to see from Mackie. But two supply depots are on the way, and already combat shield is on the way for his part. Another barracks is on the way for Kakos. So we do see a lot on his part. Uh, Hellion, and maybe, uh, yep, looks like it will be a marine drop. Uh, Unfortunate to see uh, from uh, Aki's part, he does not have any positioning of Marines over here. But in the meantime, we do see Kakos. He will be moving in right here, and all these Marines may get the snipe on this medevac. But these Hellions will be able to deny those Marines sniping this medevac. Very, very, very nice to see. Doesn't even matter anymore. This, uh, these Marines will be able to snipe that medevac, and they will be able to deny this Marine. these Marines. Outranging them with those Hellions, so very, very nice engagement from Aki's part. In the meantime, I do say Aki does have the advantage. Very, very unfortunate to see from Kakos not scanning to check if that upper ground was guarded. Maybe saving up, maybe uh, getting that SEV advantage, which it looks like he has. So he is 40, in, in fact, in comparison to 35 SEVs from uh, Aki's part. I'm going to go ahead and look in the income tab. They, you see this, ladies and gentlemen. It, um, Kakos is, in fact, ahead in economy. Back into production tab, and we do see a starport already completing for uh, Aki's part. And I've just got a PM here asking, who picks the last map in the event of a tie? Ooh. Hmm. I assume it will be going back to the default map of the either quarterfinals, finals, or the semifinals. Whatever the default map for that uh, matchup is, it will stick on that map. And okay, moving back into the game. As we do see uh, double upgrades is going down for uh, Kakos. We already see Siege uh, researching already plus a late plus one on uh, Kakos's part. Already going to go in for that fast siege from the looks of things. Uh, that is the reason why he went for such a late upgrade. Already st Stim is almost halfway. Um, maybe going to go in and get that uh, up that army advantage. But in the meantime we do see Kakos has already got the adv advantage of expansions. But we do see Aki moving out with this mass marine army, but in the meantime Kakos has already got that siege and he will be getting the upper ground advantage to deny this. Very very nice positioning from Kakos and he will uh, he will not be seeing this uh, drop coming, but very actually he will. Very very nice to see uh, Kakos already going to go and go ahead and get that s uh, tank positioning, but uh, very very unfortunate to, to see that Aki will be dropping on top of that tank and denying this. I mean, but in the meantime, we do see a flank with these marines are coming into the natural, not even coming in. What? Uh, miss micro control, very unfortunate to see. Kakos miss micro that uh, tank, not defending it with any marines. Very, very unfortunate to see, and they, d they do snipe not just one tech lab and a reactor. I think they actually sniped two reactors. That is very, very harsh to see on um, Kakos's part, because it does take a very, very long time, and he will be delaying Kakos's marine production. Very, very nice pr uh, pressure coming down from Aki. Whew. In the meantime, we do see more barracks is coming underway, and he will be getting um, a better marine production, in, in, uh, despite the fact of Kakos uh, losing both of those reactors. Uh, splitting up his army, and it looks like Aki will be repositioning, and looks like he will be uh, putting the spawn points and moving out his third into the third expansion, delaying uh, Kakos's third expansion. He does in fact scan, and he sees he see he is over oversaturated, feeling that he really, really wants to get that third expansion, but he cannot. Already getting a very upper uh, advantage for his army positioning, map control, everything. But the, uh, but the meantime, we do see Kakos is, in fact, really, really ahead in the income. Considering he's oversaturating his main, uh, not his main, but his uh, natural, we do see that uh, Aki is behind in uh, economy. Because 
Kakos, uh, yeah, that's the word. Kakos has in fact ma been making non-stop uh, marine uh, SEVs. But enemy time, we do see Aki moving in there. He will be able to snipe this tank for free. So many medevacs will be able to heal this. Absolutely no problem. Repositioning the army. Very unfortunate to see that these two tanks were not repositioned to be able to deny this uh, pressure. Very, very unfortunate on his, his behalf. But it looks like Aki will be able to uh, snipe this command center. Keeping up with the pressure. And it looks like uh, Kakos is still not re repositioning his tanks. Very, very unfortunate. But it looks like he will be getting a, a tank on his uh, ramp. Very, very harsh to see. <laughs> uh, Aki will be able to snipe uh, not just... Well, forcibly repositioning that command center. And Kakos will be able to deny this. But in the meantime, we do see um, more production is keeping, uh, non-stop production is keeping on going down for Aki. Already another army, a small army waiting right here to repositioning the army. But in the meantime, we do see that Kakos is in fact ahead in the in the army. Already moving out for his third, feeling very uh, not scared but comfortable. He sees the amount of units that are there waiting and having to go. So many marines. With those marines streaming in, he actually has an idea for the marine production going now for Aki. So that's very, very nice to see. Already we do see uh, Marines stimming and they will be able to snipe uh, these SVs, but instead Kakos will be denying this. Very, very nice to see from his part and he, he will be getting his third. Thank you very much, I'll be taking that for free. Moving back into the income tab, we do see, in fact, Aki is, does have the economical advantage considering he went for his third earlier. But uh, Kakos has already got those SCVs ready and amping to go and he has done that massive, massive, massive SCV transfer and he's already full in economy for his third. Well, for a saturation. That is the word, ladies and gentlemen, that I've been waiting and looking for this whole time. Saturation. Oh my goodness. Moving back into production tab, we do see double gas going down for uh, Aki. Uh, Realising he's behind in somewhat of gas, but it looks like he will be getting the, the siege contain against uh, Mr. Kakos, and it looks like he may be uh, expanding absolutely crazy in the meantime. Uh, Kakos has scouted and sees that uh, the positioning of his army, and it looks like uh, he does, in fact, see these two uh, tanks, uh, f five tanks, uh, four tanks sitting here, and he is not deciding to drop them, considering he does see this one and few marines sitting here. That would be very, very nice to see that, in fact, for him to get the flank on right there. But it looks like he is, in fact, actually just stimming in. Oh my goodness. Absolutely destroying Aki. Out sieging him. Out. Um, wow. Ah, wow. Kakos does have balls of steel. Feeling very, very comfortable to uh, engage that. Aki realizes that he did not have enough right now. Splitting up his marines, forcing those tanks to uh, die. Very, very nice micro coming up for Kakos' part. And forcing Aki to pull back and not to expand. <laughs> Saturation, yes. Best word to describe him. Absolutely. We do not see uh, both players not even going for their fourth base as of, yet, as of yet. I think 17 minutes is the um, normal timing for any kind of player to feel comfortable enough to get their fourth base. But in fact, we do see CT, uh, CT uh, Kakos already moving out and getting that uh, duh, 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 map control. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, this map control is key and getting the actual engagements, uh, engagements uh, perfectly. But in the meantime, we do see uh, Aki already going to go ahead and make those missile turrets, denying any kind of drop harassment. But we already see... Well, Aki sees that he's moving out for his third. Already repositioning his tanks from the looks of things. Very, very nice to see. And he's splitting up his army the best he can. Looks like he, he will be forcing an engagement, forcing all of his marines to stim in. And it looks like he will be pulling back and forcing those marines to actually walk into the tanks. Not... Uh, Aki will be not be falling for that. It looks like both players are going to go ahead and scan and try to get the best, best kind of positioning and engagement as possible. But it looks like C uh, CT Kakos is behind in Marines. But behind this, ladies and gentlemen, is expanded. Very, very nice to see. Already got another army on the way. Out -produce producing him in tanks. These Marines will be walking into a death trap. And I've got to say, Kakos has got the key. Siege contain. Whew. 
If you do not know what a siege contain is, Kakos has got it. He is showing the perfect example for it, Siege Contain, outproducing him in tanks, very, very nice to see. Plus three upgrades is already going down for both players, fairly, fairly even on timings, but Kakos will be ahead in that part. Already, uh, Aki already getting ready for his fourth expansion, knowing that he is, uh, maybe he's already scanned, uh, scanned for um, Kakos's fourth, and he knows that he is behind. But in fact, we do see a Kakos trying to put, put as much pressure as possible and denying those missile turrets. Very, very nice to see. I do, actually, I can't actually move the mouse right now because my hand has gone completely numb. So I'm going to go ahead and put on Kakos's stream uh, screen. <laughs> oh god, my hand is numb. I'm trying to warm it right now. Very nice hotkeys from Kakos. Okay, moving back in, into the everyone's tabs, considering I've got feeling back in my hand. Oh my goodness. Alright, looks like Kakos is already maxed in, maxed in supply, in fact, in comparison to Ach, Achti. Uh, he's already not uh, maxed in supply. Both players are floating in an incredible amount, ready to remax their army. It looks like maybe Kakos is going to go ahead and make uh, 50 barracks, I'm not quite sure. Maybe something close to that. <laughs> So, uh, ready and amping to go to re replenish his army. What I would love to see, in despite of the fact of Siege Contain, is Kakos for to in fact go Ghosts and try and get the nuke on against these tanks and marines. Because he would be forcing the engagement and f forcing Aki to move back. By forcing the engagement, I mean uh, maybe forcing Aki to move up to his third and for... Uh, Kakos to get the, re uh, re the best positioning with his siege tanks. I think that it will be the new meta in this kind of uh, matter, but in the meantime we do see uh, both players feeling very comfortable to macro up. Uh, Aki feeling, I, I can't say he's feeling the best, <laughs> uh, not in the best position, but he's already um, trying to max out, trying to get the be uh, best position and both players are feeling very, very uh, patient. This is the thing. Once it comes to a siege container, it comes to both players if they feel comfortable enough or lose that or do actually become impatient enough to uh, move out. Like right now, we do see Aki uh, loading up medevacs and trying to go ahead and for that drop. But in the meantime, we do see this Marine already on patrol to be able to see this. Uh, command center, in fact. A very, very sneaky command center. <laughs> Oh, my, I did not see that, in fact. I did not look at a load of medevacs, and this marine will be able to see uh, these <laughs> SCVs. And Aki decides to back out, cancelling that orbital command, and he will be moving out. Very, very nice to see. Uh, throwing away more marines. I think he actually threw away a lot of SCVs right then. Against uh, Kakos. Kakos has got the upper advantage in both economical and he keeps expanding non stop. I've, I'm expecting him to make like 50 barracks right now considering he's sitting on like so many minerals. <laughs> I don't think uh, Aki can afford it right now. He's f He needs to move out soon. He's oversaturating his third. He's almost completely uh, saturated his natural. His main is almost gone. As you can see in the gas, they're ready to go. He needs to do something right now, and I think he realizes that. Maybe he's um, maybe he's trying to going to flip the coin. I don't know what I just witnessed. Maybe he could have used that to move out. I, d I don't know. That that's so confusing me. Maybe to max out his army even more. Uh, I. I don't know what to say right now. Already going to go ahead and get that Viking advantage. Very, very nice to see from Aki's part. <laughs> yes, absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. Just free supply. Uh, Aki already donating his part and already got the very nice tank spread on his, uh, his behalf. These Marines will be able to move out and die, maybe giving free supply as far as I'm aware. These SUVs look like they will be. Uh, Ouch. <laughs> Just sitting here doing absolutely nothing. In the meantime, Kakos is non-stop expanding, keeping up with that um, economical advantage. You see him sitting on so many minerals. As we can see in the income tab, you see how 
the massive, massive differences from uh, both Kakos' part and Act He's part. This siege contain is the the one and only siege contain, and this is how it should be done, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, very, very harsh to see. It's just I can't say I can commentate on much at the moment. Both players are trying to outproduce each other, trying to get that uh, Viking advantage and uh, air advantage. But in the meantime, we do see uh, Kakos has already given that free supply to him to be able to uh, get that uh, that Viking advantage, and he will be able to snipe these tanks and give that range to them. Oh my goodness. I don't think Kakos will be going for Battlecruiser as of yet. He's already got that uh, fusion core. Feel free to do the fusion core dance, ladies and gentlemen. Um, he does not have many starports to, re uh, to ready himself to transition into that. Maybe feeling very uh, comfortable. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of Vikings. Alright, let's have a look at the, Vi uh, the units tab. We have 14 Vikings in comparison to 12 Vikings. So Aki does realize he needs the air advantage. But in the meantime, we do see, um, oh my goodness, this drop has come down on his fourth. These Marines are, uh, these SCVs are trying to repair the command center as much as they can. But in the meantime, we do see so many Vikings already uh, ready to snipe this. <laughs> Marines do snipe. Oh my goodness, three, uh, two free Vikings and four free Vikings, five free Vikings and a medevac. Oh my goodness. Goodness, so much damage done right there. And you, as you can see in the units tab, uh, Kakos is behind on Vikings, and these Vikings are ready to move out to be able to get that engagement. So, in the meantime, I've got to say, Aki does have the advantage right at this map positioning. Oh my goodness. And they will be able to clean that up. Absolutely no problem at all. More free SEVs are going down, so it looks like Aki will be all inning at this point of the game. Whew. As you can see, 32 SAVs in comparison to 64 for Kakos and uh, Akia. So many sc free scans going down. Uh, feeling, I, I, I don't know what to say, really. Should we, should we just grab a beer and just see what happens? I, I think I'm just going to do that. <laughs> I think it's just going to be a non-stop Viking war at this point. Could be sitting around for an hour until one player decides to do something. But Aki does have the Viking advantage. 28 Vikings in comparison to 8. So Kakos does need to throw away a bit of supply. Looks like Aki is already gonna go ahead and get that upper ground advantage. If he moves move this tank moves this tank over here, he will be able to snipe this tank. And maybe even that SEV if he's lucky. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that, I, I've never witnessed that before. Are you witnessing this, ladies and gentlemen? But because I am, and it looks like Kakos is already scanning and dropping mules to do as much damage as possible. Very, very nice to see from uh, Kakos's part. It's just free mules, free scans, and doing damage to that tank. Very, very nice to see on his part. <laughs> Do I what? It looks like Aki's gonna go ahead and get that tank drop. So many tank, uh, t two medevacs full of tanks and one medevac full of marines. Mule tank harassment. Oh wow! Kakos already freeing up that supply, trying to. Oh my goodness! Already got a raven out. Maybe gonna go in and get that point defense drone to deny these Vikings. I don't know if that actually works against uh, Vikings. But in the meantime, we do see um, Kakos already going for that. Uh, let Let me just count how many bases he's got right now. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, he's got ten bases in comparison to uh, Aki's three. An XD face coming down for Kakos. <laughs> Having a bit of fun against Aki. Aki, I do not know what he's thinking right now. Feeling very scared. Uh, but we, what I didn't witness right here is all of those medevacs getting sniped by these missile turrets. Very, very harsh to see on his part. This is the main contain from Kakos. 
yeah. <laughs> Aki looks like he may be screwed at this point, but he does. Look at all these Vikings. He has 31 Vikings. Oh my goodness. So many Vikings are ready to move out, maybe to snipe these Vikings, but in the meantime, we do see these Marines. Oh, wow. Taking a free snipe with that medevac, absolutely no problem. He may only have three bases, but... Aki. If he wins the engagement and destroys Kakos' army, he will be uh, able to win this game. But Kakos does see that he's gone mass viking, and he will be going ahead and making mass missile turrets to be able to defend this. Absolutely no problem get, trying to get the best kind of positioning. Both players feeling <laughs> very... Uh, not scared, but... This has just been so passive, ladies and gentlemen. Aki's uh, telling him, I am waiting for you. Oh my goodness. Or we wait until draw. Oh my goodness. We may be witnessing a hour-long game, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like uh, Kakos will be giving those free Vikings away. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. I'm waiting for Kakos to either go nukes. Oh, God, look at that! Woo! <laughs> Raven taking that Seeker missile and trying to go for that. those Vikings. Having a bit of fun, why not? But in the meantime... <laughs> Kakos pointing out that he is mining. Not going for Vi uh, for ghosts as of yet, as we have, as I have mentioned, not once, not twice, but three times, I have mentioned that Kakos. Uh, I really, really hope that he does go for nukes and ghosts. In fact, very, very nice splits from Aki's, uh, Aki's part. But in a matter of fact, we do see. Oh wow! Very nice Raven control. Oh my goodness! Doing so much damage. And there is the GG. This is a best out of three, ladies and gentlemen. And Kakos, he is 1-0.